This is going to be a spoiler-free review. I'll put out a full-blown bitch fest afterwards, a day or two later, and we'll talk more. We'll go further into things. I feel like you have to set the table when you're four movies deep and it's been over a decade since the last one. I am a massive fan of the trilogy, specifically number one. I, like many impressionable teenagers when this film came out, was all in on The Matrix. I was running up walls, I was pretending to dodge bullets, saw the film in theaters three times, I wouldn't shut up about it. I had wallpapers on my computer. I, I just... It, the movie is still in my top ten. It, it's just so unique, it's so special. It has some amazing characters and ideas. It's got one of the best villains in cinematic history, Agent Smith. It has such a cool protagonist with not just Neo, but Trinity and Morpheus. The sequels went a different direction than I was hoping for. I still enjoy the hell out of them. Number three was a massive letdown when I saw it in theaters a long time ago. Over time, it's gotten better for me. And for a while I thought, man, are new movies just getting that bad where I'm looking back on some older ones fondly? Or were my expectations just too high, and the ideas I had in my head weren't what the Wachowskis were thinking about, so it ultimately went a different direction and let me down. The answer most definitely is the former. Movies today, especially these big blockbuster resurrections of sort, are absolute garbage. And even when they are competently done, like a Jurassic World or a Star Wars Force Awakens, they ultimately fizzle out right away because they were playing off nostalgia and didn't have really any creative new bones in their body. There was a lot there and I haven't even talked about Matrix Resurrections, and honestly I don't want to. The film once again goes deep into the whole blue pill, red pill thing. You can take the blue pill, stay ignorant in Wonderland with Alice, or you can take the red pill and see how deep that rabbit hole goes. Which pill makes me forget this movie exists? That's the one I want. When I first heard that Lana Wachowski was coming back solo to direct this, I thought to myself, oh, okay, this might be okay, actually. The Wachowskis as a duo had a few good films, and then a whole bunch of bad ones. Starting right after Speed Racer, they basically made nothing but trash. Maybe their TV series was better, but, uh, my god, Cloud Atlas. Whatever that film is with Channing Tatum where he's got cat eyes, uh, Jupiter Rising or Jupiter Ascending, what a, what a disaster. But maybe Lana Wachowski, untethered from her sister, would do a better job. We'll see if she's the one with the talent in the family. She's not. She's not at all. Especially in the writing department, the script for this movie is an absolute shit show. I think I read an early review that this movie was going to be polarizing for fans, old and new. No. No, it's, it's just bad. If it's polarizing, then the taste of moviegoers has gotten so awful that it's not even worth talking to them about. Since this is spoiler free, we're just gonna go through the checklist of what I look for in a good movie. The script, the story, the plot. Bad, bad, bad. Are you sick of sequels that come out many years after the original? Regurgitating plot points and dialogue and nostalgia just for the sake of a cheap reaction? Then it's gonna be hard for you to get past this over two hour film, let alone the first 10 minutes. Because the whole movie is, remember this, remember this. It is so meta. It is so up its own ass that it can't even be bothered to tell anything unique. I was predicting scenes, camera shots, and music. Half an hour, 45 minutes before they even hit. I went with my good friends to this movie. We've seen all of them together in theaters. So this was kind of a big deal. Generations of the Matrix in theaters. What a splendid idea. All of us hated it. Not even disliked it. Full blown hatred of this movie. Let's push away the script. How is the action a staple of the franchise? They, they birthed bullet time. They gave us phenomenal choreographed action and spectacle the likes that hadn't been seen before. What's a more aggressive word for dog shit? First of all, there is a decent amount of action. The camera got a lot more shaky since the first three movies though. Uh, secondly, Neo mostly does this. Stopping bullets and throwing and doing force pushes. He doesn't do it. There's like one scene where he's doing hand-to-hand -hand combat in this movie And that's a training simulation which you see in the trailer not not good either Every single time Lana reminds me of the older movies She's doing herself a disservice because they were done better in those films. She's cosplaying here She's doing a shitty interpretation of a movie. She already made at best this movie comes off as a bad parody at worst 
it ruins the Matrix films that came before. There's a scene in the film where they reference bullet time, they actually say those words, and they talk about how they need to up the game for a sequel. So what do they do? Bullet time. But way worse! It has this herky jerkiness to it, almost an in and out of focus blur effect that looks miserable. It's not fun to watch. The only thing that's retained from the original trilogy is the sound effects of So story is a miss, action's a disaster. By the way, the action scenes, they're, they're cut up really poorly too. That shot in the trailer where she's running in the hallway and goes up sideways and then flips over, it doesn't connect well. The, the shots do not line up. There's something off about it. And that goes throughout this picture. Okay, uh, <laughs> the music. Remember the music from the original trilogy? Don Davis, Junkie XL, you had Linkin Park, you had Marilyn Manson. You had freaking awesome bands, plus the symphony, plus the overall scoring of the movies, the burly brawl. I mean, there's so many amazing songs. Gone! Gone from this new one. Wait, we have like two composers I've never even heard of. You have some of the original theme, obviously sprinkled throughout, but the new stuff is boring, it's, it's, it's lame. Everything's lame. This is the Matrix, where's the coolness? Where's the leather? Where are the shades? Where are the, where are the agents? There's like no agents in this movie and they're not a threat. I was never fearing for this new Morpheus or for Neo or Trinity. I was never scared for them. I never was enthralled in the rich backstory of the machine world and, and how they're able to do all the things they're doing. I never once had to tap into my brain and think about things. I was more or less just befuddled, confused. Not in a smart way, in a why the fuck did they do this kind of way. It's amazing how Lana knows exactly what made the original so great, but doesn't have the capability or the wherewithal to make it again. This is a hard pass. Usually I say, watch the film, make up your mind yourself. No, no, if you, I, I can't imagine any fan, any real fan of the original trilogy going to this and saying like, oh wow, this was great. This was such a uh, return to form. It's a chore to sit through. It's a bore to sit through. It's frustrating. It's miserable. I hated every second of it. Those are my thoughts on The Matrix Resurrections. Wasn't that fun? If you saw the movie, let me know in the comments below how much you hated it. If you liked it, 